Good afternoon. We are just going to give folks a moment to clear the waiting room and connect to audio to make sure that everybody can hear us. And we ask that everybody entering from the waiting room, please do remain on mute. No public testimony will be accepted this afternoon as this is an informational hearing for the board. We'll give just another moment to make sure that folks have cleared the waiting room and have connected to audio so that they can hear us. Good afternoon. This is a hearing before the licensing board for the city of Boston. Today is Thursday, July 20th, 2023. Today's hearing is being held pursuant to temporary amendments to the open meeting law. That is what allows us to meet virtually. Today's hearing is being recorded and will be posted to the city of Boston's website. Before I review procedural matters, I will introduce chairwoman of the board, Kathleen Joyce. Good afternoon. My name is Kathleen Joyce. I'm chair of the Boston licensing board. I'm pleased to be joined today by commissioner Keanu Saxon and Commissioner Liam Curran. Thank you. This is an informational hearing. The purpose of this hearing is for the board to gather necessary information regarding the operation of a licensed premise in order to inform action that the board may take. I will read today's agenda item into the record and ask who is present on behalf of the licensee. The chair of the board will be given the opportunity to make opening remarks. The licensee or their representative will then have the opportunity to address the board followed by questions by the chair and commissioners. No public testimony will be accepted during this hearing. The item on this afternoon's agenda is Monica's Trattoria on Prince Inc. doing business as Monica's Trattoria located at 67 Prince Street. This is an informational hearing to review the character and fitness of the licensee and manager of record pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 138, Section 12 and Section 26. Who is present on behalf of the licensee? Attorney William Ferrolo, 28 State Street, uh, on behalf of the licensee. Thank you, Attorney Ferrolo. I will ask Chairman Joyce if you have any opening remarks. Thank you, Danny. Uh, thank you, Attorney, for joining us today. Um, as you know, this is a heavily regulated industry, and as regulators, we have scheduled this hearing to gather information as to whether Mr. Patrick Mendoza has a requisite character and fitness to own any interest in a liquor license as required by Master of Law Chapter 138, Section 12, and whether he has the requisite qualifications to be the manager of record as required by Master of Law Chapter 138, Section 26. We have shared with you uh, four police reports that um, the dates of the, that have formed the basis of today's hearing, the dates in those police reports are July 12th, July 13th, June 22nd, and June 29th. Did you receive all those police reports? Uh, I received those at uh, 1227 this afternoon, and I will waive the reading of those reports. So I presume that the commission has them, will make them part of the record, and has read them themselves. Okay. Thank you. Um, the qualifications for a manager of record before this board are citizenship residency in Massachusetts, experience in the food and beverage industry, and familiarity with the rules and regulations of our board, the ABCC, and the laws of the Commonwealth relative to the sale and service of alcohol. While these are the baseline requirements, section 26 also requires that a manager of record be with respect to his character, satisfactory to the licensing authorities. Based on the events that have occurred over the past week, and which are public knowledge, I have concerns regarding the character and history fitness of Mr. Patrick Mendoza, who is the 100% owner of the liquor license and manager of record at Monica's Trattoria. Um, is Mr. Mendoza here today? He is not. Okay. And um, I also wanna point out that our rules and regulations, section 1.15, 
state that a cause for revocation, suspension, and modification of a license, uh, one of those um, elements is the failure to, um, to appear before the board, um, failure of the licensee the, or the manager to appear and testify under oath to any inquiry or hearing held by the board with respect to any application or matter before the board pertaining to the conduct or bearing upon the character and fitness of such person to hold to continue to hold a license. So I just wanted to set the stage as to why we are here, the information we're gonna gather. Um, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to make some opening statements and then we'll, um, the members of the board will ask some questions. Thank you, Chairman Joyce. Attorney Ferullo, do you have any uh, remarks you'd like to make to the board before we move to questions from the board? I do. Um, thank you for uh, taking the time to have us here. I am here with actually Mr. Mendoza's wife who's seated behind me. Um, the background for this restaurant is that it's been operated by the Mendoza family for more than 20 years. You will not find any disciplinary actions in your files with regard to the operation of this uh, restaurant. Uh, the restaurant had been a family business that uh, Mr. Patrick Mendoza took over individually uh, within the last few years. Uh, in his absence, uh, as I believe you know, uh, as the police department knows, he has not been present at the restaurant for eight days. Uh, however, his brothers, both of whom are licensed managers by this board and approved by this board, his wife and uh, Amanda McQueen, who uh, we will be filing an application naming her uh, or requesting her be named as uh, a new manager for this premises. Um, Ms. McQueen has been the operations manager at the restaurant for the last six years. And amongst that group of family members and Ms. McQueen, the restaurant has operated during the past week uh, without any incidents of problems. And we would faithfully represent to you that that will continue at this point in time and that we would like the opportunity to be able to file a request to have uh, Ms. McQueen appointed as a manager of record for this premises, which we are in the process of gathering that information. I would point out uh, in addition, as I say, that this restaurant has operated this period of time uh, employing not only family members, but uh, 25 individuals who work uh, at the restaurant, and uh, we want to be able to keep the restaurant open and uh, support the Mendoza family, which have four children, and Mrs. Mendoza, uh, as well as the employees. Thank you, Attorney Ferrillo. Anything further before we move to questions from the board? Um, just further is, uh, once again, uh, I think in my 40 plus years experience before this board, uh, having an absent uh, manager is not something that hasn't happened before. People take vacations, people get sick, people are incapacitated, uh, and uh, this board has allowed replacement managers once it's been brought to their attention, and that is our request today. Thank you for that. We'll turn it over to the board to see if there are any uh, remaining questions, starting with Chairman Joyce. Thank you, Attorney. So you stated that the day-to-day -day operations are being run by, did you say her name is Amanda McQueen? Yes, F M small c, Q U E and Q U E E F, McQueen. Okay. What are the two brothers roles in the day-to-day -day operations at this location? They've been assisting with the family. Uh, Mrs. Mendoza, uh, who lives around the corner from the Russian has also uh, been in at the restaurant uh, to make sure that the employees uh, are aware that the restaurant is open and continues to serve and maintain the business so that we don't lose this business. Okay, and I had a hard time hearing you, so I might be repeating myself, but what are the qualifications for Amanda McQueen um, to uh, be manager? Uh, Amanda, Amanda, as I mentioned, has uh, six years experience as uh, what's been the operation manager of the restaurant everything from hiring and paying bills as well as uh, filling in as a server. She's TIPS certified. She's SERP safe certified. 
folks who are extremely familiar with operations. Okay, and the 25 employees, um, how many of them are full-time? Uh, well, in terms of full-time employees, there are approximately, I believe, 15 full-time, uh, which would be kitchen and wait staff. Okay, um, so I'm trying to get wrap my head around what the plan is. The plan is to have Ms. McQueen um, become the permanent manager of record? Correct. Okay. And, um, you know, this is a highly regulated industry. Um, what are the overall plans of the, it's not just the um, manager of record, um, you know, the day-to-day -day operations, it's the liquor license. Um, what are the plans overall for um, the operations of the restaurant, the control of the liquor license? The, the plan at this point in time would be that one, that we keep the restaurant open as, as mentioned and operating as it has for 20 years. Uh, the second half of that plan would be to have other members of the family take over the uh, ownership and management of the restaurant uh, as we go along. Uh, it's early in this process, uh, as you're aware. Uh, so that also, uh, has been a subject of my meeting both with uh, Mrs. Mendoza, uh, with uh, uh, two other members of the family, and as I say, with the existing staff, uh, so that we can make plans to go forward with this, uh, regardless of what happens in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Um, the manager of record cannot have a serious criminal record of any significance. It must be a U.S. citizen and a resident of Massachusetts. Does Ms. McQueen have any serious criminal record of any significance? She absolutely does not. Okay. Uh, I reserve my right to ask a follow-up questions, but I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Curran and Commissioner Saxon. Um, Patrick Mendoza is a 100% owner of this business, correct? That is correct. And has he personally... Um, employed you to be here in this hearing today? No, I am, I have been the Mendoza family attorney for I think it's 22 years, representing uh, several members of the family and uh, three of the businesses that they operate uh, and continue to do so. So he, he hasn't sent you here today? He, I have not spoken with him, no. Okay. Um, when I hear your statement about, you know, in the past, there have been lapses, you know, uh, managers of record have gone on vacation, been incapacitated. Um, my position personally, with regard to the manager of record versus replacement managers has always been that regardless of who has been sent as a replacement manager, it's always under the direction and, and control of the manager of record. It, it, am I right about that? I don't think I, I understand the question. Any person left in charge of a, a licensed premises by the manager of record is left in charge by the manager of record, correct? You say left in charge. So let, let me try to clarify the language by you. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you were talking about whether restaurants have assistant managers, uh, various degrees of managers, meaning as I referred to an operations manager, some people have day managers, evening managers, et cetera. All of those are at the instruction of the general manager of the restaurant. That I would I'm, not, I'm not really interested in, you know, the, the, the hierarchical structure of any given restaurant. What, what I'm interested in is at any given time, the restaurant, while it's operating, should be under the control of someone le that's responsible, correct? Should be under the control of the manager. That's correct. And, and that person, if it's not the manager of record, is left in charge by the manager of record, correct? That would be correct as well. Okay. Has Patrick Mendoza left anybody in charge of this business? Well, as stated, uh, Amanda McQueen has been an assistant manager of this restaurant for six years. And that's been at the direction of the manager of the restaurant, who is Patrick Mendoza. But he's not available to the business at this current time, correct? I'm pretty sure I said that he has not been available to the business for the last eight days. 
Okay, so how is she working under the uh, you know under his direction? Because she has the six years. That's her. That's her job. That's in the past. I, I'm talking currently. Didn't didn't disappear eight days ago. Okay, so for the last eight days, she's been operating completely independent of Patrick Mendoza. Correct. She can operate independent of Patrick Mendoza. Correct. Okay. I'm going to reserve for now, but that's all I have for the moment. Thank you, Commissioner Curran. Commissioner Saxon, any questions? I think just as a, um, a practical matter, you know that the um, managers need to be accessible by the board 24 hours and seven days a week. So just as a practical matter, just make sure that um, McQueen actually has a number that we can use to contact her um, just in case anything, um, we have any questions or uh, there are anything that we need to communicate with her. Absolutely. Um, this is certainly a, a matter of concern, and I do concur with all the questions that have been asked um, lately. Thank you, Commissioner Saxon. Chairman Joyce, I know you had reserved your right to ask further questions. Is there anything further you wanted to get out on the record? Yeah, Attorney Furillo, I would like um, some more concrete details about what the business plan is. I would like in writing tomorrow by the end of the day what Ms. McQueen's qualifications are to serve as manager of record, but I would also like to know from you when we could expect to have the application for Amanda McQueen before us. Um, it's concerning to echo Commissioner Curran's comments. It's concerning that this person who is not available um, is evading the law, ultimately um, is in some way um, controlling the restaurant, whether it's um, by proxy or 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 otherwise. Um, this, I, as chair of the board, I would like to know when we can expect to get this application before us. And in the meantime, um, I'm grappling with whether or not I'm comfortable with the restaurant remaining open in the absence of an approved manager of record. Well, once again, I'll fully uh, refer to the board's actions in the past. And I think the board has had similar circumstances where the board has granted some period of time to get an application before the board and have that application approved by the board. Uh, I would expect that uh, we will have an application to you, I hope, uh, next week. We Needless to say, as you're familiar with the application process, need to gather not only the information, but signatures. And uh, we have all of uh, Ms. McQueen's information that I can submit to you tomorrow, as you request. And uh, you'll have a sense of what our application will look like when we are able to get it to you, hopefully, next week. Attorney Ferullo, how do you move forward with that application without the 100% owner of the business? That's why we need time to get uh, the signatures that are required to file the application. And you're getting them tomorrow? I don't think I said that. I said I can get the information that we normally provide on a proposed manager of record to the board tomorrow that, that we have assembled uh, and are nearly complete. So that'll be complete by tomorrow. But the Sign-offs are not complete uh, as we don't have uh, those signed yet. So tomorrow we'll have in writing what Ms. McQueen's qualifications are as manager of record, but it is still to be determined when we'll be able to get a complete application for her to become approved as manager of record. And also I'm assuming, I would like to ask you, are you planning on transferring Mr. Mendoza's um, interest in this license? Uh, I am discussing that with his wife, uh, not only before this meeting, but after this meeting. That's where, that's what gives me pause. Um, he's evading the law. He's uh, not cooperating with police. He's unavailable to the board um, and um, he's putting at risk the operations of his business um, upon which his family and his 25 employees rely on. Um, 
So I, I urge you to um, get us that information as, as quickly as possible. So provide the information. And uh, as stated before, uh, I look to the board to uh, follow its own precedent in these types of cases. I, I would have to take issue with this. This is really unprecedented. Um, we, we do have precedents on um, transfers of manager of records and approving such, but it's unprecedented that um, when called upon, a manager of record is unavailable for a week and is evading the law and is accused of some serious crime. So I don't see a parallel to any other transfer application that we've had before us in the four years, almost four years I've been chair of the board. So I don't see a lot of similarities there. Um, Needless to say, I would just say allegations of the allegations. And, uh, you can deal with the allegations as you see fit. And we will try to accede uh, to the board uh, uh, by providing information that we can. But once again, uh, what has been a, a successful uh, family business uh, should not be penalized uh, at this point in time by putting people out of work. Uh, by having this family go without income uh, and not allow us at least to keep the restaurant open on the reliable um, group of family members. As I say, uh, two other brothers are approved by this board as managers and uh, are willing to assist in the business. We have a person who has uh, six years of experience managing uh, that can assist with the business. It has little to do with the allegations that are pending. Uh, regarding Mr. Mendoza. Chairman Joyce, Commissioner Carr, and Commissioner Saxon, anything further, any further questions or anything that the board is looking to see um, from the licensee? I'd like to keep the, the record open um, until we get that information from Attorney Furillo. Thank you. And you're requesting that information by the end of the day tomorrow, did you say? Yes. Thank you. Attorney Furlow, any final uh, remarks to the board? Uh, I have nothing else. Thank you. The board will look forward to receiving information on the proposed manager of record and any proposed changes to the license by the end of the day tomorrow. The record will remain open until then. That will adjourn this hearing for now. Uh, thank you all. Thank you.